Why don't Asians get multiple sclerosis? Well, they do. I certainly have patients who are Asians with MS, but not very many. And look at this world map of the prevalence of multiple sclerosis I compiled from various studies. You can see MS is rare in Asian countries. One in 5,400 in Japan, one in 15,000 in China, and one in 130,000 in Thailand, compared to, say, one in 420 in the U.S., one in 280 in Alberta, Canada, and one in 530 in Sweden. It's it's true within individual countries too. This is our data in Southern California of the United States on the incidence or new diagnosis in a given year of multiple sclerosis in different ethnicities. You can see blacks in black, whites in white, Hispanics in green, and Asians by far the lowest in yellow, roughly one-fifth to one-tenth the incidence of MS compared to whites and blacks. But is this true of autoimmune diseases in general? Do Asians just have a lower risk of that type of disease? Well, this is data in different countries of overall risk of autoimmune disease according to Statista. It's around 7% risk of having an autoimmune disease in the U.S. compared to only 2% in Japan and 5% in China, so not a huge difference between China and the U.S. Here's the risk of different autoimmune diseases of Asians in the United States between 2010 and 2016. You can see the different autoimmune diseases on the left, and the vertical line is the overall prevalence in the United States of that disease. So you were comparing the prevalence in Asians compared to the overall prevalence in the United States. And you can see many of the diseases, the prevalence is the same, like autoimmune hemolytic anemia and hypoparathyroidism. There's an overall shift to the left, so Asians do see seem to have an overall reduced risk. Only one disease was decidedly more common in Asians, alopecia areata, which is autoimmune hair loss, but multiple sclerosis is far to the left, a clear outlier. So Asians seem to have an especially low risk of this autoimmune disease. They also have low rates of celiac disease. So how could this be? Well, maybe it's genetic. This is the frequency of carrying the gene hla drb one the a gene most linked to risk of multiple sclerosis. This is a gene that has to do with the major histocompatibility complex type 2, which influences how your immune system interacts with foreign antigens and initiates an inflammatory response. If you have one copy of this allele or gene version, you have a 2.5-fold increased risk of MS. If you have two copies, you have an 8-fold increased risk. I have an entire video solely on this gene. Link in the notes below if you want to check it out. European people have a relatively high risk of having one copy, 28.1%. Ashkenazi Jews, a little bit of a lower rate, 15.6%. In this province, in Iran, 22.8%. In Denmark, 17.6%. Iceland, 18.2%. African Americans, despite having roughly the same risk of MS as white people in the United States, tend not to carry this gene, only 4.3%. In some areas of the world, it's very rare, like Zimbabwe, where MS is very rare, it's only 0.2%. But in Asian countries, it's not that low. In Japan, a 11.6%. People of Han Chinese descent within China, 7.6%. The Uyghur ethnicity in China, 8.7%. And Korea, 15.3%. So the prevalence of this gene in Korea and Denmark is not that different, despite a massively different prevalence of multiple sclerosis. So maybe genetics could explain some differences in the prevalence of MS, but perhaps not the entire difference. I admit this is a superficial analysis. There are many genes that are weakly linked to MS. This is just one of them. What about Epstein-Barr virus, the cause of mono or glandular fever known to be associated with MS? Could differences in infection with this virus explain the lower prevalence of MS in Asians? It doesn't look like it. Here's a graph of the seroprevalence, or the probability of antibodies suggesting prior infection to EBV in different Asian countries, and you can see everyone's getting infected with this virus throughout the world, usually at a young age. Also, other diseases linked to Epstein-Barr virus like nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Here's a map of the rate of this cancer throughout the world known to be linked to EBV. It's actually more in Asian countries compared to the United States and Europe. So I don't think differences in EBV infection can explain this phenomenon.
Could it be dietary differences? Well, here's a map of milk consumption throughout the world. There's this thought that dairy could be linked to MS. There's a protein in dairy, buterophilin, which has some homology to one of the antigens in myelin, myelin, oligodendrocyte, glycoprotein, or MOG, and maybe dairy could initiate a cross-immune reaction against myelin, the fatty sheath of the nerve fibers, which is damaged in MS. And certainly milk consumption is lower in Asian countries compared to the United States, Canada, and Europe where MS is more common. Here's a map of grain consumption in the world. The blue is rice consumption, which is more common in Asian countries. Corn consumption in red, which is more common in the United States. And wheat consumption, which is more common in Russia and Europe. Could rice be better for multiple sclerosis or decrease the risk of MS compared to these other grains? What about other health conditions? This is a map of obesity rates throughout the world. There's some evidence that obesity could could be linked to multiple sclerosis, though the correlation is not strong in adults. There's better evidence in pediatric MS being linked to obesity. Certainly the rate of obesity is much less in Asian countries compared to the United States. And even in the US, Asians have a much lower rate of obesity. This is the prevalence of obesity in the US in adults over age 20 in the year 2017 to 2018. You can see Asians depicted in green, the total population, men in the middle, women on the right, have much lower rates compared to other ethnicities. They also have less diabetes. This is the incidence or new diagnosis of type 2 diabetes age 10 to 19, so young people likely prior to diagnosis of MS. They certainly have lower rates than Native Americans, Blacks, and Hispanic people, but actually slightly higher rates depicted in red compared to whites depicted in green. Now, sunlight exposure seems to decrease the risk of MS, and in countries near the equator, the prevalence of MS is low regardless of the ethnicity of the people who live there. However, China and Japan have roughly the same latitude as the United States, so I don't think this can fully explain the differences in prevalence. Low vitamin D is also linked to MS, but this study in the United Kingdom found that Asians tend to have lower levels of active vitamin D in the blood compared to blacks and whites. Smoking is linked to MS, and Asians have much lower rates of smoking compared to other ethnicities. However, the association between smoking and MS is quite weak, and most people don't smoke, so I think this is a small factor. So let's put it all together. I do think the lower risk of MS in Asian people is very real and significant. It's just something I notice in my daily practice, and I assure you other doctors who treat people with MS notice the same thing. I don't think there's sufficient evidence to pin down exactly one singular cause of this, the fact that there aren't overwhelming genetic differences between Asian people and other ethnicities where MS is more common in MHC class 2 genes is optimistic in the sense there may be major lifestyle factors that are modifiable which could reduce the risk of MS. I don't think it has anything to do with Epstein-Barr virus or sunlight exposure. Certainly it could have something to do with diet. I was just in a Korean market yesterday and certainly there was a lot of produce and seafood there, but also a decent amount of processed food. So I'm a little bit skeptical that the diet of Asian Americans, and I'm in Los Angeles, by the way, is all that different from the general population, but perhaps even small differences have a significant impact. I'd be interested to know your thoughts. Why do you think Asian people have a lower risk of MS? Is it genetic? Is it due to diet, nutrition, lifestyle, or maybe some other factor I haven't thought of? And let me know if you have ideas for other videos, references in the notes below.